Hello everyone, welcome back to Crypto the Necrodancer. We're here in the character select screen and Suzu is not giving me any success. So let's swap over to Shaunta. Possess defeated enemies and use their powers. Continue. Yes. Oh my god, these menus changed. Right, that is a, a funky looking thing, isn't it? So we have half a heart. Which is terrifying. Now I have a full heart. Apparently I can't move the beat after I attack. And this guy can only go up and down. Come back here, bat. Bat, come back. Bat. Alright, that's not gone great. Up here, some stuff that I don't really need. Alright, again. Interesting that I get all of the health back when I take over the body of a skeleton. Oh, interesting. We get to use the blood flail. It's just the putting our hands above our head after every attack is going to get real, real close for comfort. Why did I lose health? Did we just lose health over time? If we... Well, there was something going on with the number. On the beat track at the bottom. Okay, I can't open doors. I'm the dragon now. All right, so we regain steps in the thing we're possessing by killing other things. It's interesting. any of that. I can't even fall down the trap hole that I want to. A wider attack? I don't think I need it. I have unlimited damage or is it because I have one heart that I have so much damage don't really know how this spell works quite yet Oh, 
Oh, you butt. I have to kill it before I possess it. I can't just try and attack it while it's on the ground to do the job. All right. Again. I will grab a bomb. Yeah, I'm not sure how my amount of damage is calculated here. Use a shrine. I will use this one. And then do... No, I'm not going to blow it up. Right, I think we have... Is it a rapier? We can la lunge at the tile directly ahead of us. Right, we're going to lose possession of this very quickly. Probably worth waltzing over to the shop just in case. There's also something hidden there. Um, I'm not going to take a glass cat of nine tails just on the off chance that um, when we get hurt as one of our summons... it would cause the weapon to break. Right. I think there's a titanium broadsword in the shop. I would quite like it. I am going to bother to make the effort to push this down that hole. We'll find that later. Three bombs. We'll open that. Oh, come on. I wanted the Warhammer so badly. I thought I could give up the red guy's health for the Warhammer, but evidently not. Warhammers are, like, so good as a weapon in this game. Basically, you get Warhammers, you get longbows, and then everything else fails in comparison. Right, well now we have a golden axe. What was that a scroll of? Temporary shield? Not even sure how useful that would be with all these summoning malarkey. Problem with teleporting all these enemies away. Is that even summon or teleported enemies need to go somewhere. I have no idea if we can increase our max HP as this character or not. I 
do not want an irregular rhythm. All right, we need to eject out of there if we're ever going to open this door. Shop says. Um. All right, eating the apple did nothing for me. So I'm going to guess not to worry about it then. So my current torch shows me all of the walls on the map. I'm just going to go down a floor, I think. this all right that'll be this is a good test of can i increase my max hp no i don't think i want to take that spiky ring because it might hurt me when i do so Shit, that wasn't ideal. Deep blues. This is very awkward. I can move in any direction as a queen. More bombs is lovely. Alright, let's just keep this train rolling, shall we? Cannot afford that. Can fly though. Wow, so much good gear. That is an extra life though. Yep, there goes my extra life. God, that gets a bit hectic, doesn't it? Alright, let's go back to the lobby. And let's try Clarinetta. That's going to be tough. Easy enough to just point your sword at stuff as you're moving around. But then when you need it to be facing the other direction in a hurry, that's when it gets tricky. 
So sunglasses make everything look really cool. Also give me one extra damage up, which is lovely. Have already burned through most of my health. I'm just going to keep chewing through these bits of the world. Some cheese! Alright, as one does in Skyrim, stop to eat as much cheese as you can afford. Oh, there's a hidden little cave there. Three bombs, just what I needed. Sell one of your items. No thanks. Honestly, I can imagine that I'm never really going to swing the sword at things properly. What have you got for me? Just gold. The thing I need least, really. Another hole in the wall. Alright. Oh. It does help if I remember that I can't attack into stuff by moving towards it. Ever. Oh, Ring of Piercing is so good. I want it. Let's try and save up for it. That's a mimic. No, it's not. All right, we're going to do this. We have been given a ring of darkness, which means we can steal from the shop. And that means... We can steal the ring of piercing. Which is great. What if we blow this up after we've used it? Luminous torch. Love to see it. And I don't know how I've just noticed, but we also have a map now. Oh, is that? We get the map when we use the uh, Shrine of Darkness, because it lets us know how to get around. I knew the mimic was there I just couldn't get back on myself at all oh dear I'm wondering if some convoluted group of extra buttons on the keyboard for the four different diagonals would benefit me but we're just going to have to go with what we've got Because it's easy to just point it at the direction you want stuff to explode in. What? Uh, absolutely give me that. I'll leave the boots. What? So this rat will hurt stuff beneath me. Like this. Which is, like, incredible, because that's basically one of the four methods of attack we're missing. Nothing to open that box with. Bad. I'm 
really bad. Looking at the animation, I feel like I'm equipped with a windscreen wiper in a car. Tell me it doesn't feel a bit like that. Thank you, rat. Pulse spell, not a bad one to have. Shop's probably all the way over on the left. Probably just skip it. Thank you for walking into my sword. Monkeys and bats, man. Monkeys and bats. Must remember, I have pulse spells if I really need them. I'll take this. This is going to show me where every item or chest is on the map, like that shrine there. Or this barrel over here. So bad. Alright. My brain can't get out of how I expect regular characters to operate. Problem is with half of the characters, my end goal is to just get one of the really, really good weapons. But clearly here, we're not going to be able to swap out of this weapon because that's the crux of the character. This is cheaper shops, yeah. Not going to worry about coming all the way back for that. Can't operate a sword. I wonder if so. I'm using the A, B, X, Y buttons on an Xbox controller to do up, right, left, down. Not in that order. I wonder if I could like get the left hand side stick or something. To flick into the corners I want it to for the uh, four directions of the sword. That's a good one. Gonna make it a lot safer to approach stuff from one particular direction. I hate bats. I just shouldn't bother. I just shouldn't bother. not going to have enough blood to get anything good in here anyway. There was some decent stuff in the shop, wasn't there? Not that I have really much money. An empty heart and a scroll of gives you what you need.
I don't really want to blow through a wall with a bomb just to get enough gold for this thing. Oh, that's good. Right, that's 125. Is that enough? It is. A blood shovel is not what I needed. The blood shovel lets you dig through any type of wall surface, but you have to spend health to do it if it's too tough. I love the cheese, though. Death metal. Oh, this is going to be terrible. went about as terribly as I was expecting it to, really. Uh, oh god, okay. Um, this guy gets killed. And we get to take his food for free. And I get the empty heart containers and a gluttony charm. That was just what I needed when I needed it. I will take the boots. So at some point, if my health is full and I eat more food, it will give me more max health. Ah. Plus one boots. Oh, great, if I could ever actually hit what I'm looking for. I'm going to come get all these bombs. Definitely worth having. Pile of gold. We don't have a hat at the moment, so if we get hit now, we will teleport to the shop. Alright, I didn't really intend to do that, but it happened. I now have a pickaxe, but all the maps are going to be slightly larger. What's inside you? Map? Miner's hat. I'll take a miner's hat. I'd like that bomb, please. Transmogrify something. And transmogrify the armor? No. I like the boots. I like the hat. Can't change the weapon, I assume. Pickaxe is fine. That thing is stuck. That is probably better. Oh 
god. Yep. Yep. Screw it, we're going down. The chest will break. There won't be extra enemies down here. Because we already killed the dragon. Restore full health, but all of your hearts become diseased hearts. Oh my god. I hate it so much. All right, let's go look for some food, I guess. Let's move that round. All right, I'm just going to blow that up there then. Cash, not what I wanted. Please have some food. None of this is food. Damage all non flying enemies. It's not a bad thing to have. It's not food, but not a bad thing to have. Right, I don't want to screw around over there. There's the exit. Over on the left. And we're going into a boss. On nearly no health. Deep blue. I wonder. Wait. All right, I screwed up my rhythm, but that scroll really freaking helped. I was trying to kill stuff next to this shrine that didn't go well. Scroll of Riches. Gives you more gold the more floors away from where you started you were. Can I bring more enemies over here? That guy will follow me pretty far. Not next to the shrine, though. Alright. The ending is up here somewhere. I want them on this line if I could. Come on, stand next to the shrine. How many more do you want? Can't be many more, can it? Uh, it's got to be the cookies. And a full heart is lovely. Oh, 
I can't believe that floor went as well as it did. Honestly. Purchase a random item. What don't we have? A ring? Fine by me. So our attacks freeze stuff, and if we hit a frozen thing, they die. Oh my god, and a chicken leg? Incredible. This is going way better than I ever could have imagined. There's an extra life in there. I want it, obviously. Where is our exit? Bottom left, according to the compass. to sell anything. King wow, that was fast through those three levels. Three, four, five, six, seven, beat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, beat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, beat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm so bad. Well, considering we still have our extra life. Could be worse. Right, Compass says exit is in the lower left. Nice that we can still hit stuff while we are shrunk. if I need them. Yeah. Alright, free shop. Very welcome. Very happy with what I've got, especially all these bombs and bomb protection. Going to the lower right. That was not strong. Frozen and dead, please. Spiders in the walls are super annoying. Oh, don't lose my potion, please. I apologize that. 
all notions of worthwhile commentary have been entirely lost. That was good. I hate everything about this. Alright, can I please just have what's in this crate? Just cash. I don't want any of that stuff. We're going down. Still have a full health potion. Uh, our exit is in the top right corner. That shrine wants me to eat near it. Never gonna happen. Or if I had food, I would have eaten it ages ago. Alright. There goes... Our full health potion. Food? Automatic freeze pendant. Not bad. There might be food in here. Carrot? Don't hate it. That guy reverses your controls. Real fun, dude. Gonna let them filter through the one way system with our ice that kills everything. So we got hit by something among all that, which caused our freezing necklace to pop. I will eat this. And I'll eat that in a second. Fortissimo. So, I don't really need to, but that carrot would fill that purple heart for me. Uh, Fortissimo is the guy talking at the stage at the front. Okay. I'm just going to deal with this riffraff first. Leave me the hell alone. Freeze Charm doing so much work, especially with that Ring of Freezing. Right, last area, unless the most recent DLC added one, but I don't think it did. Let's keep that. Got a scroll of Fireball, it is. What is between all of that? I can't even remember which... Oh, God. Which type of scroll that is. I'm honestly not that invested in finding out at the moment. Take out that guy before the door to the underground will unlock. Where did he go? Oh. 
six bombs left, still at nearly full health. So, honestly, a freeze enemies scroll is superior for my needs right now. I'm gonna get out of here. Really, really appreciating the plus one damage boots I have. Get me out of here, please. So we have two shield scrolls now instead. Our exit is in the top right. Alright, honestly, I'm just going to do this. Last boss fight. It's going to be a bit awkward because all of the stuff spawns in areas where we're going to have to swing the sword to hit it, and I'm bad. Our secret boss we did it achievement unlocked well my brain is fried but that is one of the three characters beaten thank you ever so much for watching if you enjoyed the series please do consider subscribing and hitting that like button if you have any questions or comments you can put those down below otherwise thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one cheers